Okay, so I recorded this video a little bit outside and a little bit inside, um, but there are two different clips and a couple other clips in, in between, so just letting you know before uh, the rest of the video. What should we be wearing to photo shoots? What should a uh, photographer model? Um, what should you really bring along with you when you're out shooting in the winter? So depending if you're actually shooting winter wear or if you are shooting something else but during the winter, um, I know that's common as well. So uh, number one tip is bring gloves, bring accessories, uh, smart accessories, gloves are number one on the list. Um, then you want to go for things like uh, boots. So right now I have, I have on some boots right now, um, very helpful for like walking in the snow and not getting like super cold. You want something that's insulated, um, that wraps around your whole sole, soles of your feet. And that's just gonna help out. Um, I made a separate video on how to take pictures. Uh, so in that video, I also explained that there were, um, there are shoes with grips and spikes if you're in somewhere uh, where there's heavy snow or deep snow um, and you wanna make sure that you are stable uh, but you can you can either do boots or the grippers, um, either one of those. It's also it's also very important that you layer layer your clothes. So right now I have on maybe two layers, three layers on the top here. Um, it's not too cold. It's maybe like 30, 40 degrees. Um, so I have two layers on the top here, and then for my uh, bottom, I actually have two layers underneath as well. Um, and uh, along with layering, I would also bring warm socks, wool socks, um, even they're, if they're long and they're not showing. Um, if you're modeling, they might not be showing. Um, you wanna just make sure, maybe you bring two different pairs of socks, maybe one more woolen up, um, something that won't be seen and something that will be seen. Other, other thing, other important things to bring may be like vest or um, additional vests on top of your vest. I know I've seen some videos where people are modeling and they bring multiple coats just because it's so cold, um, depending on where you're shooting. I'm shooting right now in Wisconsin. I'm in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So uh, bring even an extra coat. Uh, blankets are really good. Blankets are really good to bring. Um, tough, uh, tough wool blankets are really good for insulation things that you might want to bring uh, to a winter or like a fall photo shoot like a colder photo shoot is a blanket um, I've used this a couple times before but blankets are super super useful especially if they're like um, wool and they're thick um, they're those ones are the best ones to use um, as you can see right now I don't have much on I just have this jacket which protects from any wind that comes on and then um, this is like a polyester um, like sheet. And then I have a uh, cotton um, sweatshirt underneath. And then I have another layer. And then I have two layers of pants on right now. Um, and I don't have boots, but um, boots, boots are also a good idea to bring along. Um, so yeah, uh, I will, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, so we're back inside. So like I was saying, polyester fabric, um, you wanna use that for like the wind. Uh, some other things that you might want to bring with you are sunglasses. Sunglasses like ski glasses are really helpful. I remember when I was out just like not too long ago, a few, a few days ago when it was like super cold and we got the uh, like polar vor vortex in the Midwest, the like Chicago, Madison, uh, Milwaukee region and it was just really cold, but um, I was still out shooting just because I had some sunglasses and I remember, hey, put on sunglasses. Um, and it really helped uh, to make sure that like my eyes were clear and I could actually see stuff. Um, you want to be careful with like if you're a photographer, if you have gear, um, you want to be careful with that. But if you're modeling, you can also have sunglasses that can help protect from the wind and, you know, just help help out. <clears throat> You want, to avoid, you want to avoid things that are too bright, um, like things that are white or gray, um, something that will easily blend into the background, the clouds, or the snow. Um, so just keep that in mind, but if you're like doing a bigger purpose, uh, 
photo shoot for like a company or for a campaign, um, there's always flexibility in that. <clears throat> and if you're working with other people, you might want to bring a couple different choices of uh, winter wear, especially if you are doing a longer photo shoot, uh, just so that you know you don't have weird colors together um, out in the snow and you don't want to go back there out in the snow. Um, so kind of just coordinate with others on um, the looks that you want and the outfits that you're going to wear. And I guess I guess that's kind of it for me. Um, just the basic ones at the beginning and then some other ideas that you can bring like the blanket um, But hopefully you guys have had a good winter so far. It just began a, few, a week ago, I think um, And hopefully you guys have a new good new year um, And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like uh, it really means a lot and yeah Have you guys heard of NordVPN yet? So I actually have an affiliate with them. You guys can go check it out. They're doing a super nice uh, Christmas holiday, uh, New Year's deal right now. 30, I think it's 30 or 60% off. You guys can go check it out in the description. I uh, really would mean a lot if you go and check, check that out and just see what Nord has to offer. I use it quite a bit, more than I thought I was going to use, use it at the beginning of the year. And it's been really great. Um, so go check that out in the description down below. I also got more videos on the channel coming this year. Uh, super excited about the new videos and the collabs. I really want to do collabs. If you're in the Milwaukee, Chicago, Madison area, um, hit me up. But uh, yeah, thank you guys once again.